Two years ago, my great grandma, Mama, as you call her, was turning 100. As a result, the family all decided to come back to the Philippines to celebrate. Though I was excited, I was also scared. This was the first time I was going back to the Philippines in 15 years. Emotions of anxiety and insecurity filled my body, while doubts and questions flooded my mind. Less serious questions such as, will they think I'm too fat? And will they try to match me with a random Filipino friend? <laughs> Came first. Then suddenly, more serious questions such as, am I too American? Will I fit in? Sorry, coming in. As a 0.5 generation Filipino American, Philippine born and nurtured, but American raised, I never really understood where I fit the spectrum of Filipino and American. In America, I'm too Filipino to be American. In the Philippines, I'm too American to be Filipino. As a result, I knew this was one trip that was going to challenge me both mentally and emotionally. So during the week I was there, I started learning about my family, especially about my mama. Through my family, like most Filipino families, love eating. Five or six times a week, or a day, sorry. Breakfast, lunch, merienda, dinner, midnight snack. <laughs> Learned my mama was the head cook of the household. I learned when my mom got older, she started passing down her recipes to our family. As I got back to America, I came across a dilemma. Being 8,370 miles away, how do I continue to connect with my culture? How do I continue to connect with my family? How do I continue to connect with a generation so much older than me? Immediately, I thought about the one thing my family and I do best. Food. <laughs> the way I was going to connect with my culture, my family, and my mama was to learn one, to cook out one of her recipes. I messed with my tita and immediately got a list of mama's recipes. A recipe instantly caught my eye. A sweet pork sausage dish called longanisa, a common breakfast item in the Philippines. The only problem was, like most big cooks, mama doesn't believe in the measurement system. <laughs> only ingredients. As a result, this goal turned out to be a lot harder than expected. Trial one was super, trial two was too sweet, trial three was too strong. But with every failed trial came an increased sense of passion, pride, and purpose. Each failed trial became a catalyst for the next. What were my next steps? What did it taste like? How do I improve? Did this over and over and over again until finally, trial 13. <laughs> As I finished cooking trial 13, I remember sitting down in my chair and looking at the long pizza, I had to the bed of garlic rice. I then slowly poked my red, the red caramelized meat and brought it closer to my lips. As it casually moved towards my tongue, fumes of garlic, sugar, soy sauce, vinegar began to come in my nose. When the ball finally reached the box, I swung. I took a bite. Joy, happiness, euphoria filled my heart and my mind. While a newfound energy, a connection, catalyzed my body. I jumped up and did what I always do when I'm excited, and I ran. I ran to every room, ran to every corner, ran to every closet in my apartment. As I felt water in my eyes, I saw it. I became pacified. I then took a deep breath and calmly said to myself, I did it. So, Ulam, I'm gonna put this down real quick. Ulam, Kultura, and Tao. These are the three components of the Filipino piece. Ahanda, Ulam, dishes. My mama's longanisa. The amazing food our amazing chef Nagar Lala has cooked for us today. Hey. Second one, cultura, culture. The, the collective behaviors, customs, and characteristics of not only my family, but the community over here. Third one, and probably the most important, Tao, my family, my mama, the members of this community, us. See, when you mix these three ingredients, you don't just receive a dish that tastes good. You don't just receive a dish that looks good or nourishes you physically. See, like a great magician, food entices you with its presentation and taste. However, its true magic is behind the curtains. The true magic is in the effects. The true magic is in the experience. The true magic is in the spiritual, mental, social, cultural knowledge food provides us. So before I end this event, and before we close the curtains, I want you to do one last thing. I want you to grab your glasses right now. Right now, right now. Five, four, three. All right, oh, oh, oh. And then I want you guys to all take a sip. Take a sip, real quick, don't worry. I'm hoping it's water. If you don't have water, I'm sorry. But lastly, I want you all to celebrate. Because we 
have now officially been nourished in knowledge. So thank you guys uh, for coming out to our first ever <laughs> I hope you guys all enjoy and have a great rest of your night. One, one more time for a good job. Last but not least, uh, if you'd approach, just come up to the